All right, guys, what's up? So I'm going to show you guys what I've been doing to get about 10 light and dark scrolls every month free to play. This is completely free to play. Now, my situation is a little unique because right now I feel like I need a light and dark monster to, to progress in RTA or I need a Gany or Hathor, okay? So the focus is, I mean, is the light and dark, Nat 5. I've um, been playing five years and I don't have any Nat 5 light and dark, which I think is very ridiculous. But anyways, luckily their latest update for Summoner's War, um, about a month or so ago, made it so we can now buy some we have access to more light and dark pieces. All right, so I'm gonna get right into it, okay? This is how I've been getting 10 free to play light and dark scrolls. Number one, just log in, just play. On day 24, you get one, all right? Number two, and of course, not everyone's gonna be able to do these, but if you've been playing long enough, you should. TOA 90. You beat stage 90 on hard and on normal, you get a light and dark scroll. So that's two and three. Number four, there will be an event every month that will give you a light and dark scroll. Uh, this month, as you can see, I already collected it. I already collected it and Spoiler, I already popped them. Okay, I've been popping them as I get them. I'm going to see if maybe I can save the 10 for next month and I'll do a quick summoning video. Uh, 10 light and darks of how I'm getting these. All right, so that's number four. Okay. Number five, we're going to say in the arena. Now we are able to buy two of these per week which comes out to 40 light and dark pieces per month, okay? For now, we're going to call it one scroll, all right? So that is number five. Number six is same thing. Now we can get them in the guild shop. I'll get to how you're going to complete these in a second, all right? So we're going to call this number six, all right? Guild shop. Same thing, um, two per week. Number seven and eight are right here. As you can see, I bought these already. Now for me, these are great because like I said, I'm looking specifically for my account to progress in RTA, which is my focus. I need light and dark and I need a Gany, Hathor, or both of them preferably. Also, Diana would be amazing. But these come with one light and dark and then seven of your whatever element you want scrolls plus those are angel mon all right but we're going to call this number seven and number eight that's seven and eight light and darks and the cost i understand can be a little pricey okay so not everyone's going to be able to do this but at the end of the day you should be all right so where are you going to get number number nine all right number nine is going to be right here a summoner's duty you do your daily you get one light and dark piece every day you do that 30 days let's just say 30 days that's 30 correct all right so we're going to call this number nine okay and number 10 will be from the world boss and you're thinking what the fuck how are you going to get it from the world boss Okay, well, let me show you. Actually, I'll do this live right now, and then I'm going to queue up a video of what kind of drops you can expect. All right, so what you want to do is you want to max out your runes inventory to max. Damn, I can't craft any of those. All right, so right now um, I only need three, so I'm just going to craft three quick ones. I'm going to keep them. Maybe we'll get one good one or not. Oh, look at that. Ah, shit. Oh, well. 
All right, so that should there we go. We, we reached the max number, right? So now we go to the world boss. Auto sign is going to tell us, sorry, you need more room in your rune inventory to continue. So you want to do this every day. Every day. Why? Because now you're instead of getting three to four rune drops, you'll never get a rune. So that enhances the chances that you get light and dark pieces. All right. It's that's it. It's that simple. So then once you're done doing this, then you just sell the the shitty runes you kept. All right. So you so you, so it frees up some room for you to farm. And I understand, you know, I'm very late game, so my my rune inventory is pretty high as it is. For some of you, it may take a while to get that high, but it's very simple, honestly. All you gotta do is just, whenever you're leveling your fodder and Feymon, just keep all those stupid white runes. Just keep them all, keep them all, and then it'll be so easy for you to know what to sell because they'll be white runes. You know, well, well, once you get this far and close to the 700 max. Then you're like, oh, okay, let me just go sell some of these stupid slot one revenge runes, which you're probably farming fame on one, right? All right, so unfortunately, we didn't get any light and dark pieces today. But I'm about to show you, and um, I'm going to add this part of the video so you can see. And I'm going to queue it now. All right, so let's take a look at kind of drops you can expect when you are doing this this is a quick little video of about seven to eight days I'm not even sure but as you saw it told me you know that you don't have enough room in your inventory for for runes which is perfect that's exactly what we want and I'll fast forward um, after after a bit here so, uh, this is seven minutes long and we don't want to waste that much time right See if I can get it to exactly the drops just like that. All right. Oh, look at that. Light and dark pieces right there. Five of them. And see, this is the beginning of another one already. That's why that one came up so quick. So, yeah, I was just screen recording. You know, every time I did it for about eight days, and uh, you'll see about what you can expect. But I, I really like it because you don't you don't get all those stupid ass runes, you know, those three star, whatever, four star, five star. Look at that, legendary pieces, and some summoning stones. I don't know about you, but I would definitely would rather have that than those runes with the mana, and even. Just the essence alone, you know. Oh, oh, I went too fast. So look at that. And then this is the start of a new one. That one dropped five as well. So that's already ten light, um, light and dark pieces from from there. But yeah, you know, just the magic, the highs, the essence. I mean, it's gonna save you so much. You're gonna get so many more. Therefore, saving you so much energy farming these stupid uh, essence dungeons. There's the start of another one. Here we go. I mean, look at that. That was two, two wind highs, real quick. Bunch of mana. Some more highs. It's the start of a new one. Those were kind of shitty. And honestly, I did this a while ago, so I don't even remember exactly, you know, um, what what the drops were. But let's keep going. As you can see, there's a lot of the 7,000 mana drops. And yeah, you know, sometimes you get eight to 9,000 mana by selling the runes, but like I said, for me, this is definitely much more effective than getting those runes. I, I think in five years maybe I've kept one rune to roll. I think it was like a five star legend with like five speed. But that was it. 
and I, I'm pretty sure I sold it because it didn't roll into speed. If not, I would have remembered. But yeah, let's see what drops here. Because I think, I'm, I'm sorry if I skipped one, but I think there should be three light and darks total that dropped. But um, honestly, the average is about two per week, I would say. So, I mean, I've gotten up to four sometimes, but, it, you know, it's, don't expect that. I would say two, so a total of ten pieces. Two to three, but it, you know, it is, it, it's all going to depend on how lucky you can get. Um, obviously, if you can do triple less on all of them, that's an extra chance because I, I, my, my third team doesn't do triple less. I'm probably going to start working on it. Uh, just, you know, leveling up those water monsters to get higher on the world boss. But, yeah, guys, so this is how you um, you farm light and darks with the world boss. All right, so let's move on. And, all right, so now that you've watched that, as you saw, um, I, I know it's three. I know I, I went through the thing really fast, but it was three and eight days. I would say I've definitely gotten more before in eight days but I've also gotten less so we're gonna say the average is just two per week okay so it's the same thing so you're gonna get 10 pieces per week so that's another 40 all right so that's that's the tenth that's the tenth light and dark now you're gonna say okay so how do I get the extra pieces so I'm gonna go over where I've gotten them and then tell you um, how to finish those scrolls okay so one place that I've gotten them is you craft this every every week you craft this every week matter of fact let's craft one now I see I've got the the mats for it it didn't work today but I've gotten not I mean it's not a lot I'm not gonna lie to you you don't get that many but they do pop up here sometimes okay so you're going to do this four times a week. I would say, I mean, honestly, we're not even going to say that you're going to get one, one light and dark piece at all. It doesn't matter. This is just an extra way for you to fill those out. Another way is going to be through Labyrinth. And you're going to be able to open two of these per week. Now, as you can see right here, um, it's not showing that anybody got any. I'm pretty sure someone did. But uh, they do drop here as well. See, look at that right there, 10. That, that could be you. That could that could have been your box. You can get 10. Boom. You just completed one. Let's just say the arena scroll, right? And you're going to get, I think, two of these per per month. So two chances. Um, not guaranteed, obviously. Um, another way is in the siege. You do your siege every time. And I'll just show you. Look, there. That person got 5. That person down there got 10. Some lucky fuck named Perk got a devil man. And of course, you know, like, I mean, there's plenty, you know. Um, and I understand kind of like, hey, look at that. I got five right there. But for the most part, my luck is very shitty with these siege boxes. And I, I might not get any. But look, every, every box, um, I mean, every siege looks like there's about three boxes that give these out. So I would say your chances, you know, you're going to open, what, eight of these per per month? Your chances of getting at least five pieces are probably good, maybe. And then maybe one month you'll get ten, and another zero, and the other five. Who knows? But all right. Let's just say, I'm not even going to say that you complete any uh, through Siege. But let's just say between Siege and Lab, you should be able to get ten, right? So... With that, you sh between that and the legendary crafts, you should be able to complete, let's just say, the arena scroll. Well, you still got to complete the the daily mission one and and also the, the guild one, right? So, this is what you do. Now, when I say that this is free to play, you're going to say, well, what the hell? Though that premium packs cost crystals. Well, I'm just going to reference a, a post from Reddit. Um, this is back in 2017. It said that as a free-to-play player, if you are 
fire three in arena, you will average 4,500 crystals per month, free. That's including events, um, whatever. Um, they say that, that that's the average, obviously through drops or, or events. Sometimes it's higher, sometimes it's lower. Well, that was in 2017. Now we have Siege. Um, that, that did not include Siege. Now we have these, and when you complete all of them, you get an extra 15 per day. So just the 15 um, alone per day, that's an extra 750 on top of that 4,000, okay? So these packs cost 13.75, right? So you with the 4,000, you're going to have plenty to buy them, all right? Now, the other thing you're going to do is this is taking a... Um, an average from another post on Reddit that it will take that for every 1200 crystals that you do this that I just did you are gonna get 30 31 but let's call it 30 31 light and dark pieces so you're gonna spend 1200 crystals refreshing your shop now I've been doing this what I personally do is as soon as siege ends and I go and I collect those crystals um, then I go and do well I don't collect them until I have time and I whatever crystals I get from siege boom I go and I refresh 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 obviously I gotta make sure I have enough mana for it but that's it guys that's how you're gonna fill out those those light and dark pieces um, from the from the arena, from the world boss, and from the the daily mission, and from the guild shop, and it's gonna come out to ten per month. That is huge. Before, I mean, I'm old school. We used to get one per month from the day from the daily login, and that was it. They didn't even give them um, with events for a very long time. Now you can definitely get ten, and as a disclaimer, I am going to say, do not do this if you are not late game, okay? Don't spend your crystals on those premium packs. And don't, uh, maybe the shop refresh you can actually do because you get some other good stuff from it. And you can actually get some really good runes from it. Maybe you want to do just the the 1200 um, crystals on shop refresh. That, that, that might actually help you progress. But the other one, I would say no, you definitely need to farm, farm, farm your ass off and farm those runes. But if, um, if you're at a late game point and you are free to play, which um, I myself am not anymore, but I used to be, um, I'm definitely not pay to win though. I buy just pretty much the double mom packs, which speaking of, they just did an update and man, these, these are really enticing. Uh, to be honest with you, I'll, pro I'll probably buy this one. Uh, not, not, not right now, not today. Uh, maybe I'll do it and do another video. But we'll see. Maybe in a couple of weeks because I got some stuff going on. But that's it, guys. That's how you get 10 Light and Dark Scrolls every month free to play. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Remember to click like, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. So there you have it guys I hope you guys learned something I hope that now maybe uh, if you were only getting five maybe I can get six maybe you can get seven eight whatever hopefully you are able to get all ten every month um, again I want to say if you're early game don't you know don't this should not be your focus your focus should always be runes 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 grind get those dungeon teams up and grind for them runes all right now that's how you get sent LD scrolls. If you didn't know, now you know. <laughs> you know?